And I'm going to tell you a story that you're familiar with. Yes? Once upon a time, there was a little boy named David. Remember the story? He lived out in the far hills, and he was a shepherd. Remember the story? Remember the story of a little boy named David? He was a shepherd, and he had a sling. You remember the sling? What he did with that sling? I have a few slings here. Who wants a sling? These are miniature slings. You take a sling, you take a stone right here, and then you go like this. Not a slingshot necessarily. You go like this. Who wants one of these little miniature ones? All right. Here's one. You want, you want this? I want this. You want this? Yes. This. All right. Well, I've got one more. I can give it to you, but everyone can get one if you get your parents to take you to upstream camp next week. I know, that was not a, that was a sneaky advertisement. You'll all get one there if you go and your parents go with you or they drop you off. So David knew how to use a sling. And this isn't just a child's toy. This was one of the first projectile weapons in human history. In other words, way back with Adam and Eve and after the sin and Cain and Abel. And this was one of the very first ones that was used. And you would have to be very, very good at it to be able to use it appropriately. Well, David knew how to use a sling. The slingers, that's what they're called, slingers who use these slings, they were very important to the ancient armies because of what they could do. They were considered to be equal or better than bowmen. See, I brought my arrow here. See that? There's a, an arrowhead I found in my backyard, backyard, otherwise known as battleground lava rock. And so these bowmen had these bows and arrows, and they would launch these, and these were heavy. Because they were so heavy back then, someone who was a slinger could actually cast the projectile weapon or the, or the missile, if it was a rock, a, a, or if it was something made out of iron, or if it was me, even made out of clay, they could cast this farther and harder than an arrow. <laughs> right? But it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. In fact, you had to learn to be a slinger as a child. You couldn't start as an adult. With bow and arrow, it was easy, right? You can pick this up, and in a few years, you could master the art no matter what age you were. But to be a really good slinger, you had to start as a child. I don't know how David got started, who introduced him to a sling, but back in ancient times, the parents would introduce the child to the sling as their first toy. It's like, here, have the first toy. Here, you can have that one. And they would be introduced with it to become familiar with it. And once they were familiar with it, the parents would sometimes take a piece of bread and a steak. You can hold that for me. And they would put the bread on the steak, and they would say, okay, you can have dinner after you hit the bread with the stone. Are you ready? Okay, the ones with the slingshots, give it a shot. Do some pretend. Not a slingshot like that, but a, a sling like this. Okay, give it a shot. Go ahead and try it, because you can't get dinner until you hit that. Ready? Go. Well, okay, it's hard. No dinner for you. <laughs> Can you imagine how hard it was? In fact, 
with some circumstances and some invention of some other weaponry, the slingers kind of got lost in history, and there was no more slingers anymore that we know of as far as armies go. Thank you. Regardless, David was a great slinger, and he teaches us to stay strong like David was because we have a few giants that we have to attack, right? Now, did David take down a few animals? Which ones did he take down? Do you remember from the story? A bear and a lion. And then later he took down a giant. And in our lives, we can also become good slingers. Maybe not in the way that David was, but in our faith, we have some giants to take down. What are some giants? Goliath, Goliath which could be like doubt. What else? A spirit of rebellion toward God, not caring, more doubt, selfishness. We've got some, some giants to take down. And I hope that we can learn and that your parents can teach you how to take those down through the grace and the power of God. Who wants to be a slinger for God? Yeah, I do. And I hope you do too. You may go back to your seats. <laughs>